ladies and gentlemen, it's it's a fight weekend. Um, I've got a red hoodie on. I'm drinking a cup of tea. Streets, as always. Tea look, and Canelo. Is it is it tea though? <laughs> yeah, this is, it, I haven't I haven't drunk it fucking ages now. Hours, literally hours. Uh, it's been minutes. <laughs> I sometimes think you may have a small substance problem, but then it's hey, I don't judge. I don't never, judge. Never. It's it's um On the game interesting train, weekend, mate. isn't it? Yeah, I know you are. I know. <laughs> um, I know. It, yeah, it has. It's been a mixed bag, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, where do you where do you want to start? I mean, do, do we we start with the Uber dispute? We may as well. I mean, it's the big name. Yeah. I mean, he can he can now use his promo code on any Uber <laughs> and get his forty percent discount, which was what the dispute was about. I read on Twitter. Uh, I mean, that was that was just a weird fight, wasn't it? Yeah, um, it was a little bit odd. Like respect to to uh, Diaz for for stopping it. Yeah, right. Because irrelevant of the fight just yet, you know, he's he was out of it. Like he was holding that giant Turkish head of his. Also, quick question: Since when did a WBC brand a pair of Reyes gloves? What's all that about? Oh fuck! I didn't even see that. Was that it was on, on the thumb or something? On on, on Yildirim's gloves. I thought, oh, like like Reyes, they don't usually do like branded ones like everyone yeah. else does. I thought they had a white thumb. I was like, those cheeky bastards are all following suit. But no, both thumbs had WBC written on them. Jeez! Oh yeah, 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 yeah. A bit odd. Yeah. Yeah, a bit strange, but yeah, he just he wasn't responding. He wasn't really fast. I mean, the the skills gap between Canelo and and Yildirim, I mean, it Immense. was exactly what everyone thought it was. Uh, shout out to anyone that put money on Yildirim as just like an out and out punt. Because <laughs> let's be honest, if he had somehow taken a win. That oh, would have been imagine? maybe one of the biggest upsets. Yeah, yeah. If not the biggest upset of all time. Listen, and even even with the, you can only fight the person in front of you. Canelo looked phenomenal. He I did. mean, that look away uppercut, uh, both hands nasty. Then body shot. Canelo's body shot has got strong. to be up there with one of the most disgusting shots you'd ever want to take. Yep. Yulrim was tentative as fuck. Watching Canelo punch, you're like, yeah, I can see why. But there's a reason, like, when you're there, that's your opportunity. I just thought he'd come out guns blazing, especially because he tends to fight like that. It was more, that was, that was your shot. And I don't want to talk any shit because, like, Canelo is, like, a demon. Pound for to pound fight. one, right? He's got to be... 100%. 100%. Yeah. Um, but still, it, it's like... Just a flurry or something, but I think he was shook early, and then didn't really know what to do. Couldn't adapt. Just didn't have the levels to his game, and it, it was no surprise. I was just expecting one sort of like hail mary attempt, um, mm. which it wasn't really there. So it was just a massacre essentially. Like I don't think a significant shot landed on Canelo at all. Like no, because his D was on point as well. Like he was hit, well sway back, hit yeah. back again. Destroy yeah. the body, uppercut. Um, apparently, in the corner in Spanish, they were saying, throw the up because Marcelo was laughing, like, because he came straight out and, like, hey, you did exactly what the corner did. I'm like, <laughs> well, that, they said, throw the uppercut. And um, uh, when he puts his hand up, and yeah. I was like, that's why he's a champion. He fucking listens. That corner knows exactly what they're saying. He listens, he does it. Job done. I mean, Eddie, Eddie has, you know, come out of large, ex like, obscurity. Come out of nowhere. Like I know that Canelo's brothers were all pros and he has he coached them and, and all that other stuff. But the geezer knows what he's doing. 100 percent And also because th there's a whole big thing in Thailand, right? There's the camps that make champions and yep. there's the camps that have champions. Yeah. So it's easy to have champions when you've got the name because the name attracts the champions, right? But mm -hmm. building them is hard. And they they take on pit like obviously now people want to go there, but they're changing their game. You look at yeah. every fighter that goes there, and you're like, "Yep, they got that Canelo stab on the Reynosos. They know their shit, boy." Yeah, it's um, I mean, it's at, at what point does it no longer become Team Canelo? Because that's yeah. kind of like you, you know, like when you've got a, a band when he renames his Instagram. Until then, it's Canelo. yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, but the, I mean, he he's yeah. The thing is, as well, is like there's there's very little. I mean, they they do the fancy pad work and they do that stuff, but everything that you see of their training just seems to be like drills, drills, drills. Even on the pads, it's drills, and drills, ev- drills. Every one of them fancy thing because the fancy pad obviously spent quite a bit of time watching it. That mm-hmm. slip roll uppercut, he fucking does that. The forearm yeah. block that he does that. The body, yeah. everything he's I mean, using. He he yeah. It's the whenever it becomes fancy. It's like three or four drills that they've chained together yeah. and it's just instinctual. And it's, it's just, you know, like out of Beautiful control. Beautiful watch, man. Yeah. I kind of want him to start coming in with the WBC trainer belts. That's what I want. That would, that, that would be, That'd be strong, I mean, wouldn't it? Just to let the, them know. The Mexican pajamas, come on now. Passion. We need some. <laughs> we need some. Like, let's, let's not also beat around the book. Canelo is fashion was strong. Right, <laughs> ring wears white and pink, not to be fucked with. Yeah, little shoes, bit of, matching yeah. shoes, thigh breather shorts. Let the let them out, <laughs> let them breathe. It, that, big, big, and he looks like a fucking tank at super middle. Like oh he my looks, God. he looks thick. He looks muscular, but he looks athletic, and he looks yeah. at no point like he looks genuinely just like a fucking just animal, like granite. He looks like yeah. a guy you do not want to punch you. Like yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he does. And and that's that's the truth. And Yildirim just went, nah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's... he's... Checks cleared, has it? All right, nice. I think we're done here. I still don't know how he was mandatory. I mean, look, on the grand scheme of things now, yeah, how he was mandatory, but we know that that has a tendency to be... Um, mm. I, I get a foot off the gas, especially if he's going to Billy Joe. I'm imagining... He, like we said on countless episodes, he fights nothing but the best. Yeah, he's going to go into probably a whole nother. Thing. Who knows whether there is the Triple G rematch? Who knows whether there, you know, he is going up not. and up. Yeah, um, but either way, one foot off the gas fight. I mean, you think how many people get him all the time? Yeah, Canelo, give him one. He's straight. Yeah, back yeah no, on no, all, all, all good. But uh, you know, there's. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. There's like one, how... and then there's one, right? Yeah. There's, there's, and also one. there's one that still don't get the fight. Like, let's not yeah. make it seem like mandatory means you get to fight the champ. Fucking, yeah. how many times have we seen people wait years and not get their shot? Mm. Here we are. God knows. But now we get Billy Joe and Canelo on May eighth. We do, which is lovely, uh, and we've we've been over this a few times i stand firm he gives him very big problems i stand firm that i don't think that i think i think you you will get the best version of billy joe and i think that it will be surprising how good he is surprising how spiteful he is and surprising how how good of a performance he puts on 100 percent I would not be stunned if it was like an absolute, like not. You, it's rare to get a masterclass against Canelo, right? But something close to it, where when you get the the judges and it's like one fifteen, one thirteen, Billy Joe, and you're like, oh, that's a bit closer than what I thought it was, and then they'll be like one fifteen, one thirteen, Canelo, and you're like, oh, dirty, and then someone will go like one oh nine, one forty four. Canelo, and you're like, what? Yeah, like, that's 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 an impossible score. Doesn't it? Yeah, it simply can't happen. I I agree on a lot of that. I think it'll definitely be the best Billy Joe, and I think he has this look. Billy Joe is fucking awesome, and he has the skill set to cause a lot of problems. Uh, to be fair, a lot of problems to pretty much everyone. Um, the thing is, Canelo is by a massive margin, the best opponent mm-hmm. Billy Joe has fought. Huge. The The reverse is not true. Um, yeah, absolutely. Billy Joe looked spectacular against Lemieux, and I fucking love Lemieux. I do not want to talk shit about him mm-hmm. at all, but I think put Canelo in that place, um, and it's a – you. I mean, Canelo's not going to put on a bad performance against Lemieux. No. Let's put it that way. I think that but, would be another one. Like, is Ooh. what – what is the the intrinsic link between Lemieux 
and the Billy Joe performance. That was the big show for him. That was the biggest opponent that someone would fight him. Let's not let's not beat around the bush. Like he is one hundred percent avoided. No one wants to fight Billy Joe. Like and and the people that he does get to fight, it's reluctant, right? And he doesn't care. Do you think he wanted to fight Murray? He didn't give a fuck about fighting Murray. He hasn't yeah. like Lemieux. He cared about fighting. That yeah. geezer that he fought on the YouTube card, he didn't give a fuck about that. He yeah. was just like, oh, I'll just buy another green Lambo, will I? Okay, cool. But see, this this kind of leads to, like, do you think Canelo really gave a fuck about Uterum? He still smashed the fuck out of him. Like, he, that's what I mean. Canelo doesn't take those days off. Yeah. And, like, and a lot of the problems that Canelo's had, let's not forget, that motherfucker's still young. He is, a, yeah, he like, is. he is peaking. And... Yeah. Yeah, he he's come up against some of yeah, the slipperiest. Billy Joe, Billy Joe ain't he's he can't be 32, 33, and he, yeah, but he ain't 60 fights deep. Um, no. but do you one of I mean? them like, had a much better amateur career, one of them's an Olympic gold medalist, the other one's also a, a traveler. He's you know, he's had a few fist fights over anything, really. Yeah, I mean, listen, when you're fighting grown men at 15 mm. in a professional ring, you you know, like both of them have like amazing experience. But um, what I was going to say is when Canelo's fighting Lara, when he's fighting, um, yeah, yeah that's, Southport, that's, that's, do you know what I mean? Yeah, he was I get what you're very young. So when people are like saying, oh, he struggles with this, struggles with that. And it's like, I mean, yeah, but he's come a long way since then. Also, those motherfuckers are some of the best fight. Like if that's your learning, yeah, I mean, yeah, you learn, learning on the now. job in the biggest way. Exactly. So I think, it, like, it's a. I'm so glad that it's been made. I can't wait mm -hmm. to see it. I, like, I, I struggle to see Billy Joe taking it. Yeah. But I think he'll give a fantastic account of himself. Um. And fucking, what more can you ask? He, you know, he may well do it. Let's see. I don't think so. But no. Let's see. No, and there, there's um, the build up will be uh, oh, spectacular. Listen, Billy, Billy Joe's no joke, right? Yeah. And Canelo doesn't speak. That means one of them's got to speak. Yeah. And let's not even think that you're not going to have the seven foot gypsy king with him at all times, just <laughs> chilling, right? He's just going to be there like an ominous, enormous shadow just standing there. And then we, you, you know, like Canelo would just look at him and go, I'll do you next if you want. Let's have it. <laughs> like, fine. I, I'm excited for it, and it ain't that far Me away. Me too. I am fucking pumped. Yeah, and that's the turnaround he's doing. Mm. What was weird was just like they're spunking a lot of cash on like his contract. They're big numbers. Um, so the yield get it though, aren't they? The yield and fight. I was like, ah, is that eating into your like five fights that you've got him for? Like, what it has to fuck? be right. Yeah, but you know there's there's going to be a reset there must have been something going on behind the scenes to sweeten the pot and everything because this one makes sense i would assume that he's quite happy with eddie and eddie's oh, shit, yeah. eddie like, what 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 is what is a better prestige piece than having the pound for pound number one and if eddie can also then wait for the fallout to continue even more and he nicks bud and he nicks oh. tiafimo uh, he's done stuff with Lomachenko already. He's done, he's got Usyk. Like he's, you know, he's doing stuff with. He's, he's had AJ for God knows how long. Like he's 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 doing proper oh, business. Mate, you, listen, yeah, he's not doing he, fake he, business. He's doing proper he's business. The, he's the blueprint. He's what you want. Mm. Yeah, it was a uh, weird fight. Amazing forward coming. Like I, the only thing I would say is that maybe with Yildirim, that they went. Well, um, we'll give you a couple of quid out the ticket sales because that looked like a pretty banged out fucking stadium that they had in 15. Miami. Florida just don't care, do they? Like, we've been over this before. People. They just don't Fuck care. Hell. Bothered. Yeah, we like, can't they've... get together in a group of four. <laughs> no, no, we can't. No, we can't. And they've got 15,000. Uh, what do you do? What do you do? That that kind of fucks AJ and Fury, though, doesn't it? Like, let's, let's be real. You're not getting... 90,000 in a stadium in the UK for AJ Fury this year. You, you I, I can't not, see how you can. You are not. What you're probably going to get is a, in another country where the ticket sales are huge yeah. and you yeah, sell yeah, I mean, every all you person do in is, the UK yeah. buying it on pay-per-view. 
I mean, depending on what state one of those big US stadiums gets in. I mean, it's, yeah. it's not outside the realm of reason for like a fucking Texan, like Cowboy Stadium to pay up just to build one. Yeah, yeah. for it, yeah. right? You'd lose a little bit of the UK market, but then the pay per views would be astronomical and. Yeah. Woo, boy. It's looking Let's a good see, year now. Like, yeah, oh, fuck yeah. Fuck I'm yeah. I'm happy about it. Um, Let's do the fights and we'll, we'll, we'll do the news because I was going to take a little side tangent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. We'll leave that. Uh, should we do... <laughs> we'll do Parker versus Far because oh, that yeah. was a fucking snooze fest, that, weren't it? That really was. That, like, yeah. I don't mind Parker. No, I mean, to be fair, I quite like the way Far was fighting as well. It was just yeah. like it was a heavyweight fight of old. Um, yeah. it was a snooze fest. It really was. What was it for the WBO Oriental something? So, yeah. So like, like How I, was I, that I, a thing? That's what I was like. I thought that that was a, a, a non yas queen term. I thought you get yeah. cancelled for saying that. Apparently it was all right. I also, there's, there's also a picture of Parker and he's got like in the collection of belts that he's got, he's got like the WBA African champ. And you're like, what? <laughs> it's very odd. It's very odd and i don't Fuck get knows. yeah who knows but, but yeah that, that's another that, one where the scorecard seemed to have been filled in the night before because that was a pretty even fight you know their rounds were pretty even and then it's just like okay washout was oh, fucking... okay fair enough one of them's a much bigger name today okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you've already I got s- the contract signed for the next fight have you oh, okay yeah makes sense yes yeah, del boy isn't it del boy's been yeah. talking a lot of hype yeah bring him back over let's see uh, yeah, I mean that that was when was that? That was some point in the week, weren't it? Was it? Yeah, that was like the Friday. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, we did we did a little uh, fighting word spotlight on young Kishon Davies. Oh Davies, my whatever. god! Kishon killed a dude. He fucked like, that dude up with precision like yeah. sniper shit like yeah. what a fucking debut that's like a seasoned vet yeah debut. ray ford style isn't it yeah he's like our boy yeah. ray ray uh yeah, yeah yeah he's he's 135 he's no joke there's a little spot on the instagram dedicated to him at the minute i think he was 72 and 12 silver medalist world game Legit, silver yeah. medalist pan american pan americans yeah. no joke and and yeah he fucking beautiful boxing too yeah ripping the glove ah yeah i love it, it he, he's a proper talent. Uh, let's let's see what happens with him because he's in a good fucking division as well. Yes. Yeah, the problem is, is like, because he's he's now 1-0, and oh, they'll move him quickly. He'll probably be getting into like the 10s pretty sharpish, yeah. especially with performances like that where he's not even getting Blown him touched out, yeah. or looked at. But, you know, like the, all of the big fights are going to essentially either have – not been made, been made, cancelled each other out, be be all tied up, and then maybe he is part of the next wave as the others yeah. all move on. Very, very quickly, uh, Tommy Fury fought on Saturday night, completely off topic. He's a Fury, right? And he looked good. And they're doing, what is he, 4-0, 5-0 oh, now? 5-0, oh, yeah. Alarmingly, the the con, the combined record of the opponents is is twelve wins and one hundred and seventy four losses, which is a bit strong. The last opponent hadn't won one. Oh, that's aggressive, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and nine, I think it was. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. But it, it didn't look bad. Yeah, I mean, look, like we said, you can only fight the person in front of you. But there's also, it, come on now, let, let, yeah. let's uh, let's uh, get this yeah. ball rolling a little bit. Is it just a is it just a sideshow? Like, are we just doing? What was the Love no, Island? I think, I think the fuck? He's, like, are it, they just going to capitalize on that for as long as possible, or can we get this started? Do you know what I mean? It's like we get it. it, it he's not yeah. just a reality thing. So, he's a boxer. Let's let let let's do this now. Let's have someone with a pulse. Doesn't really happen on a Frank Warren card, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, Frank Warren is very much so of those bubble cards with Aram where you know they have you know you know who's going to win before the fight has happened yeah exactly right uh there was a couple of like i think there was a boy named sam i've forgotten his name but he fucked a dude up he looked all right but i didn't really i I watched highlights on that one mainly because i I just don't want to pay for bt sport i just don't want to 
I'll do the day pass, but then they'll, they don't do day pass. They do monthly and it's, oh, fuck off. <laughs> 25 quid for this shit. Anyway, back to the DAZN card, which is 199. Shout out. Uh, we had uh, Castro Mayorga. I'm not doing yeah, it in I was order, say, by the way. Sh- should, we, should we stay? Because uh, we were talking about David, should we stay on hot prospects? Because Castro, yeah. we were yeah. talking last time, We he had that rough time out where he's like the co-main in your fucking debut. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. he looks fighting, so much... Fighting Mexican McLovin, weren't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But but yeah, like you said, you make him co-main on his first fight in the California Love Stadium... It was you, it was a bit much, wasn't it? It was come just like, on now, like give yeah. him a fucking let I mean, him warm up a bit. Yeah, there's deep end and then there's deep end. Right? <laughs> yeah. let's, let's give him a chance. But no, he looked fucking good. So yeah, already in his second outing, looked fucking beautiful. Who was it? John Moraga. Um, yeah. second round he blew him out, didn't he? Yeah, second round. Yeah, but KO. first round, like he yeah, came but... out within three seconds <laughs> yeah, of putting him on his ass. But at that, <laughs> yeah, that was sick. Um, yeah, he looked he looked great. He really did. He really did look quite special. And, you know, there's there's so many fighters coming through now. To the to the MMA fans, okay, when there's things worth watching, I'll watch them. When there's not, I won't. Yeah, I Funny did watch that. this. I did. <laughs> really simple. I don't even know if there was anything this weekend. I didn't watch there it. There was, though. yeah, yeah. I, oh, I missed it. Yeah, Bothered. Rosenstruck fought. Um, Who? <laughs> that's that's the giant black striker dude i remember him yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 so um yeah i mean i miss that card but i mean look there was loads of boxing there was other shit happening so I think, when when the triple a ranked fighters fight that's gonna get the priority yeah the ufc won't be silly enough to put something on against the canelo card unless it's their own version of and then we'll do both yeah. But if you've got a Canelo card and then you've got a fucking Rosenberger, <laughs> come on now. I'm not even, you, listen, you've got around names. Uh, the co main was, what is it, Ariello and, and uh, Rodriguez? Yeah. I he mean, looked, he looked fucking, consider what was he, 112 pounds? He looked fucking thick as shit. How tall is he? Uh, well, my height. I, to be fair, I don't know, but Taller. fucking, I felt for um, yep. Rodriguez. He came up two divisions and twelve hours notice. All good. Yeah. What yeah. the fuck? So, like, when you're going up to one twelve, it's like, what? Yeah. How is that a thing? Yeah, he he was like mandatory for the, yeah for the minimum weight, hundred and five pounds. Imagine that, that. Fucking, that's like a leg. Jesus Christ. 105 pounds like as a fully grown man that's insane yeah when they were like thinking of one when you're going up two divisions to fight at 112 that's just mind-blowing to me yeah to, i mean look i thought he started good considering like he was there for it but um yeah fuck. Dude were you was... were you much more of a fan of 112 or jagged edge because i was all about 112. <laughs> I actually know what you're talking about. I know both those names. Really? <laughs> oh, you've been more, more so off done jacketed. too much, haven't you? <laughs> more so off jagged. But um, oh, how dare you? <laughs> uh, yeah, dirty, going? dirty shots. And like, once he started putting it on him, fucking hell! Like mm-hmm. he was out for blood, and yeah, it is what it is. What it is. Uh, we need to speak in depth about Zhang and Forrest, right? We when Zhang fought a couple of months ago, we we covered it. All good. He's been banging on about fighting AJ in China. AJ, of, yeah. of course you want to fight AJ in China. I'd fight AJ in China if they threw a couple of mil my way. I'd have a crack. <laughs> yeah. Giza. I mean, he he's a, a hard wearing thirty six, isn't he? Thirty eight. Yeah. Whatever he is, he's, he's in there. his late thirties. He looked pretty good in those first three rounds yep. consecutive three round knockdowns and then old forest <laughs> engaged warren mode and yep. the ymw in him fired up now you know what that means no one else needs to know what that means now he fired up and how often do you see a heavyweight fight 
that has three knockdowns by one fighter and ends up a fucking draw. That's that that should be Zhang. I don't want to say done. I'm not going to lie to you. That tenth round, I was chanting USA, 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 <laughs> hard, hard, literally. USA, Man, USA. that was some fucking head on shoulder. Just let's grind out this clock man that was rough yeah wow yeah at the end as well when they were calling the result forest ironic ironic surname by the way uh forest <laughs> shouted give me my shit and celebrated like he won then did a backflip which was powerful <laughs> right powerful <sighs> Well, I mean, what do you do with him now? Like Zhang, Zhang, that's that's you failed, dude. You got a you got a draw. Don't like don't go back. Yeah, because yep. it's not going to go well for you. Yeah, you end up making Nike trainers somewhere, brother. <laughs> it's like what not one of them draws too. Where you're like, oh, I fucking robbed. It's like no, you got to you, you got to draw. Like yeah, I would assume that the CCP are mobilizing a drone at the minute to take him out because the the shame cannot be done yeah like right there, they there even had lot. him in the drago gear you know what i mean like usa usa there was a lot riding, yeah rocky four happened That's what i'm saying um, uh yeah there was a lot riding on it obviously they want to go into that market as well so which is why i think they'll feed him someone next time get the momentum back behind her and maybe just try and cash out with like a some sort of name but i mean Look, he's he's a giant, and it he ain't be... that big. Yeah, I suppose. Well, he's well, six, no, six. Listen. no, six six is big, right? You put yeah. him nose to nose with AJ. AJ's looking yeah, yeah, yeah. down at him. You yeah, put yeah, him yeah. nose to nose, like he's two inches bigger than Usek, and Usek's considered to be small. Del Boy would looked, laugh him he off. He looks like a giant. Yeah, he just he looks huge. But yeah, when you're speaking in heavyweight terms, yeah, I get yeah. He's not. You know what I mean? He's like, he, he, yes. giant. He's probably the biggest Chinese person of all, other than that was his net Wei, Wei, Wei Yao Ming, Ming, whatever. Yeah, Yao Ming, him. Right, other than him, he's probably the biggest. But as a heavyweight goes, he's decidedly yeah. middle of the pack. And if he's got. Well, know, speaking you know, of which, fucking Ruiz posted his little Cayude picture. Like, Cayude. <laughs> <laughs> totally angles you know he's gone to some oi, instagram oi, model and learned that oi. fucking <laughs> you be respectful no because he fooled me once he will not do it again remember before the aj rematch he posted yeah. pictures and he looked like ah. he looked trim then, what the fuck you can't put on that much weight in that short amount of time like I, it should be physically impossible i don't know i've done it a few times <laughs> <laughs> i've managed it uh he, he yeah he I have no idea how he did that, but that, he's looking yeah. good. He, yeah, he looks good, but um, I want to maybe, see. maybe Eddie's got him on the special meet and just really trimming him down. Nice. And he, listen, he's a problem. If you've got he him, fucking with, is, yeah. but he's, he's never had a proper camp. I think that the one that, I mean, who cornered him for the, the AJ rematch? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Who, who called him for the first AJ fight? Who? Who cornered him for Parker? He's just been like bouncing around for people. Yeah, it's one hundred percent true. Listen, my concern with him is not a skill thing. My concern with him is a mind thing, exactly. Because, and you can't listen. People were writing him off before he did it. He did it. He shook the world, and then the next time around, it's like ah. Uh, so you can't read too much into it. It's a very small time frame, but yep. it doesn't bode well for when you actually had it. You like, but mm. then you look at Fury, he got it, didn't want it, ballooned up, lost it all, and now he's fucking yeah. unstoppable. He never stopped being unstoppable, but you know what I mean. Um, but it's a worry when 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 they can break mentally like that, it's a bit of yeah. concern. Let's see. Yeah, but I'm or not sure. I'm like, not sure he did. My system. I mean, he uh, was just like he was living it up, man. Like exactly. there was a lot of he was living it up, on. but but you gotta think. That's what for, I mean about breaking mentally. Yeah, but I'm not sure he did. Like, I understand what you're saying, but breaking mentally, I think, is a very different thing. He self-sabotaged. 
is a, yeah. is but that's, that's what i mean sure. listen when yeah. you get in that ring you need to be the best version of yourself and you've broken mentally if you get mm. in that ring not in that and, and injuries aside and all that sort of stuff but if you're not in there no one and thinking that you're going to win mm. that's a problem um like matt was saying um macklin when he was talking about with triple g in his head yeah. when you know and you're still trying to keep that thought be like oh fuck now this hasn't gone that that's a bad territory when you've been like blowing your cash on ice and party like you don't look that way if you've been living in the gym yeah and i'm not fat shaming i'm just saying that it's fucking no it's queen bad. when he was posting pictures he looked in phenomenal shape and then God knows what happened and he ballooned but the he, fuck up. He probably did have that for a bit, right? He probably did have that little phase where he was truly, truly and utterly dedicated to being the first Mexican heavyweight champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the champ. And then, you know, you're getting the appearances on Rogan, the appearances oh, on this sure. program, the appearances yeah. on Telemundo, you're getting attention that you've never had before. You're getting people saying all of this stuff. And before you know it, it's just like, this is exactly what I wanted. He, he got what he wanted. And yeah, I don't dispute that I at can't all. Wait but the to see is, him out again. But see, that's what I mean, because now it's just a cause of concern because now he's in that echelon. He'll very quickly be back. And then what does this shit all happen again? That's yeah, what I'm I saying. Mean, but, like, but he's got to be considered, he's got to be considered top five, right? Yeah, Maybe that's top the problem. Six, yeah. So you, who, who promotes it? He's PBC, isn't he? I'm pretty sure he's PBC. Okay. Yeah. So if he's, if he's PBC, that means that potentially you could have Wilder, you could potentially have any one of like the other heavyweights that they've got lurking around to get him back and to see what he looks like and see how he goes under the Renault shows let's let's see like this mm. like I I personally want to save judgment because I think it's probably one of the hardest things in the world let's not forget as well like a little bit of an MMA reference like GSP fucking shit the bed in an early defense like he lost to Sarah because he was parting it up and he came back and became like the G it's but not an uncommon thing 100% like oh, agreed because your whole life is based on that moment mm -hmm. and when you get that moment but that's the thing gsp when that happened the first thing he did sports psychologist and yep. he worked so much on mindset and yep. that was the biggest thing because the skill set was there and that's yeah. the thing with ruiz his skill set like he can be a record and i'm not saying he's not going to mm -hmm. be all i'm saying is it's always like look duran made a career out of just ballooning the fuck up getting back in shape and then doing it like it's scary to think he would have been even greater if he didn't do that, but maybe not yeah. because that's what made him Duran. It was just Ruiz in that rematch. It, it was just heartbreaking because you're like, that's not you. Like that's, yeah. you. this is a poor representation of yourself. And it's just a worry. Same thing we said with Victor Ortiz, when they mm. show the little chinks in the armor, every time you're a bit like, oh fuck, which, which person's coming into the ring? Is it the dedicated, motivated one? If you, things start going good again, the cash starts coming, are you going to, mm run off again. like what, what's going to happen or you got it out your system you're like you know what i like shit way better when i had them belts yeah. and everyone called me champ i blew it and that went quick now i want back like brona brona i'm hoping now finally will has found a good place mentally and hopefully that'll help but i i reserve judgment on him at the minute i think that i think until you see him back out i think the fact that he's gone to Team Canelo yeah. is Agreed. a massive statement because Agreed. if he had just continued alluding that he's coming back and he, you know, they were talking about him going like he, there was, there was a few outcomes for him to go. Like someone like Teddy Atlas, who's been mm -hmm. known to, you know, almost like heavyweight whisperer, he's done yeah. it and he does it and he continues to do it and he would be willing to do it for, they were talking for a bit. It didn't work. So then you yeah. go to the Reynosos, which is probably the next or, or as good, plus it's Mexican, plus it's Canelo. Now you're in this like camp camp, yeah. which and I think is probably the thing that either. he never had. Yeah, they're not taking that shit. It's like, look, what you do. All the training go. videos, like not the flashy thing. When you see the like little spin arounds, they're fucking working their mm -hmm. asses off all the time. Exactly. That, that's perfect for him. Yeah. I mean, the, so you, you have the number one, then you have Ryan Garcia, who by all accounts, 
you know, probably is one of the most popular fighters out there. Yeah. He's, yeah. You know, then you got Andy is immediately recognizable, immediately lovable and very, very marketable. Yep. And then you've got the fucking knockout king, Vasquez. Like he's he's been doing some epic fucking social oh, no, media yeah. shit, rolling around on the low rider push bike with the belt. <laughs> so strong. <laughs> but yeah, like let's let's see. Uh, but maybe maybe they get Andy out to fight Zhang and just let him just fuck. Him, just they fuck. Andy's like lined up right, um, and it's I don't know. They haven't said is, anything. But... I know that there's like heavy rumors that it's someone and fuck me, I forgot who it is, but it'll, really? it'll come to me. But yeah, it's not, nothing's confirmed, but I know there's a name in the works for him to come back against. Good name or? Yeah, it was like, a, it, it, you're like, yeah, that's a good, that's a good welcome back fight. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, let's see. Uh, what else was there on that card? Pacheco. And oh, yeah, the, the fucking... Yeah two fucking six foot four lanky streaks of piss <laughs> i mean fine it was it was all right he kept talking hype didn't he about trying to knock him out before the fight didn't happen yeah. won a comfortable decision what did he get he got 79 73 like yeah across the like, board yeah a handy win uh and that's uh, that's i think the fight news that is that card yeah, I'm trying yeah. To see. i can't see uh Ruiz, so yeah, fuck. I'll check it later. I'll look, but I swear yeah. there was like a a talk of him coming against someone. I was like, oh, that's good. Um, yeah. What else have we got? Ah, um, Anthony Durrell, uh and Tyrone Davis. Mm. Good little scrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it was actually um, the it, it ended up being a split draw, um, mm -hmm. and a lot of the. It's just Darrell was Darrell. You know, he's like a, a vet, seasoned vet. Dave's did great, great job. Um, full respect to him. But um, yeah, I, like I definitely had Darrell winning, gave mm. it a draw, you know. And is the it. other Darrell, right? That's not the one that fought yeah. Froch. It's the other one, yeah. The other one, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's a good fighter too. Yeah, yeah. Which one was the one that had the weird um, KO with King Arthur? Uh, is that Anthony or is that what was the other one? No, um, oh, fuck. Which one was that? No, it wasn't Anthony. It wasn't no. Anthony. Okay, no. Anthony was the one that um, against Benavides, he lost in, in his last outing. Yeah, yeah. Awkward. Should we do some news? Yes. So there's there's like a, a semi new player on the scene now, isn't there? which is Triller. Now we discussed this offline as it were, and Triller is a music video app that utilizes AI to do something. Number one, if if Streets and I try and download it, it doesn't let us because it asks <laughs> to put your birthday in and it just says, not for you nah. boys. But they've clearly got a lot of money. They've clearly decided- I like, like what this, they're doing with it. Right? That Tyson Roy fight, like that looked good. Yeah, man. Like, like for most people's first card, you'd be like, eh, eh. it was for that white with the lights. It was banging. Is it? Is it partially the inspiration for our new YouTube look? Yes. <laughs> is the zone partially is inspired? Yes. We're sitting in the middle. But they've come out and they've won purse bids for, for Lopez and Cambosses. And they went in high. They did like 6.1 mil. Yep. Matram did 3.5. And then Top Rank just went, oh, 2.8. <laughs> Don't care. Like, it, like Bob literally has just given up, hasn't he? Yeah, he really and has. Then he's it. been threatening as well. He's been threatening Eddie that you weren't meant to bid for this. You're fucking done. And Eddie's like, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, he's just done. But that now is its own card, I guess. Now, Triller will join a, a very long list of late entrants with no background in boxing into promotion and events. The most notable one of late was Rock Nation, shout out JZ. And they paid Koto, it was like $50 million for five fights. 
and they paid Andre Ward an absurd amount of money. They were just throwing cash around for banter. Yeah. And surprisingly, Rock Nation no longer does such matters. Now, the difference with Rock Nation was is is they weren't an app that is allegedly doing something. I mean, how do you make money on TikTok? Like, how do people make? How do you, how do you become a millionaire on TikTok? <laughs> Fuck knows, man. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, but I I guess it's a thing. But they've clearly got deep pockets. They've got Prograis on the Jake Paul undercard now. Prograis. Like, that weren't cheap. Ah. Right? Can I just Hearing say... Hearing him on the undercard, that hurts. But yeah, go on. Continue. Can I just say that on that Jake Paul undercard, Jake Paul versus Ben Askren, the GOAT versus <laughs> Ben Askren, <laughs> that... That may be the perfect Venn for Triller to become a thing, right? Where Matchroom tried and had a little bit of a dabble with the YouTubes. Oh, yeah. I feel like Triller, for sure. Triller, that, that's Triller the place are better where... equipped for it. Yeah. Right? They seem because to understand. Also, yeah. Matchroom are going to get the ag from because it has actual boxing fans. Yes. Whereas Triller has already set the mark for kind of like, yeah, it did have actual boxing ball is very much on the side set of like, you know, Tyson and Roy as like an yeah. exhibition and Jake Paul yeah. was yeah. like with the height. Here's another like stark warning to BT Sport. If, for, for, if anyone that listens to this knows anyone that's senior to some level at BT Sport, if they cover other Triller events and Snoop Dogg is doing commentary, I do not want to see any one of the BT Sport fucking lot doing it. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Let Snoop say, be okay from the streets, baby. That's all I want. Don't fuck with that. He, is paid made, up he needs a fucking contract. Oh, that, the best. It was so, oh, he punched him, baby. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I don't care about the geezer in the Burton suits who cuts his own hair and wears brown shoes, whatever his name is. <laughs> The one that used to be on Sky. Old Hoover head. Literally just looks like he gets the Dyson out and goes, that's another day, that. <laughs> but, yeah, true. I'll tell you what we don't need, though, Stu. And I fucking, I love some music, but a little bit too much of a concert, that was. It's like, yeah. the fight's hey, happening, hey, bro. Hey, Come hey, on. Hey, hey. Three songs is too many. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three songs in a medley, too many, mate. One. Okay. Fine. That, that it's I like assume... the anthems. You know when they do the anthems and like each fighter is from a different country, but then you do the host nation, you're like, come on, <laughs> let's we get back to the yeah. punching. We didn't need the host nation. Yeah. We didn't. I think that they may actually be in on, on a little bit of a weird gold mine. And I think that they actually can deliver where others can't with this weird spectacle. And even, like we said offline, mm. even if they don't, if they crash and burn, I fucking love they're giving the money to the fighters. Fucking because right. like, I'm so happy for George Cambosa's dude to get that cash. It's like, yeah. that's why I'm like, I'm so here for this. Tio, obviously. Um, yeah. But like this brings Cambosa, that's a lot of mm -hmm. leg room then. You know, that cash, you can do a lot with that. He's a yeah. hungry fucking guy. I remember in his fight, he's gone backstage. He's always training. He's, he's there for it. I love that he gets the opportunity because that might not come. It, it won't. And I feel that he is eminently gettable as a guest, Campos is. He may be so unbelievably intense that we can't use any of the footage, <laughs> but I think he's quite gettable. I think we should try reaching out to him again. Maybe yeah, maybe um, Bombs can hook us up or something. We need to reach out to her again, by the way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Our boy Terry yeah. trains with him. Shout out Terry. He's Shout got an, he's got his uh, second fight coming up soon. Smashed it in his debut. Second oh. fight. They're, they're training partners and uh, good friends. So hopefully we can get them all on. That'll be wicked. We'll, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll, have a, we'll have a little reach out. But no, like Trilla, the fact that they've they've made it so visual on that one show that they did, I would assume that they're going to do that again. And I like yeah. that they're not they're not. Do you remember like Elite XE got a little yeah. bit. They got a yeah exactly elite xe 
were were boxing promoters that tried to dive into MMA and yeah, they maybe. tried to make MMA too much of a spectacle with stuff that made boxing famous where Matchroom, when they did their, let's call them spectacle cards, they, you know, it was, like you said, it was a no-win situation to have Billy Joe, a world champion, on the undercard. It was rude. Devin yeah. Haney, rude, headlined by two legit full YouTubers. And you're just like, oh, this is out of order. Yeah. With Triller, it kind of is what it is. And if someone, if the fighters have opted to go on it, it's a different, it's a very different energy. Mate, you hit the nail on the head because Billy Joe, I saw that as such disrespect. I'm like, man, come on. He's on the fucking undercard. When I yeah. hear that Tio and George are getting paid that much, I'm like, I'm sure they're happy. Like, fuck it. They, they don't but give a they're, shit. They're their if, own card. So I know. Chances are they'll build something say, around that. Yeah. But let's say they don't, even if they fucking do. So that people are going to tune in for that. You know that they're getting paid bank. Yeah. And if they do some other weird thing, because who knows fucking... Jake Paul said if he beats Asker and he wants to fight Nate Diaz, and I am there for that shit. Nate Diaz is the person I want to just smash face. I so want that, and I'm just praying to rain gods daily. Like, I need that in my life. I got sent a, an amazing Nick Diaz meme as a, a used car salesman, and it was <laughs> so fucking powerful. Ian Streets, there it is, boom, right? It's it's a picture of Nick Diaz in a suit, and it says, "Slaps roof of the car, motherfucker." You can fuck feel like five gonna... motherfuckers in this motherfucker. That's Nick Diaz. <laughs> That's him right there. That's Nate. Done. Fuck yeah. There is simply no way that Jake Paul is allowed near Nate Diaz. And I want it. I want it. Like, I'm so, you know, my stance normally, but mate, there's one person that needs to set the world straight. It's Nate fucking Diaz. Let's do this, baby. Come on. That would be, that would be just, that would be, that would be it. There'd be no more. That's yeah, it. I mean, that's assault charges because you know he'd savor that meal. Like, he'd get him on the verge of being out and then just like take his foot off the brakes a bit. Do you know what the himself. problem is, is that. You, although it sounds like really, really fun, you wouldn't get the build up that you think you would because Jake might give it the absolute <clears throat> barry on videos, but then all of a sudden you got Nate literally at the gates of your house, shat and stopped him, motherfucker, <laughs> just, just pacing like a very angry wild dog up and down. And it's like, it's been three days, that fucker hasn't left yet. And it's like, he, he's not going to leave. <laughs> You're going to have to let him in and apologize. And then he's going to give you that slap. <laughs> and then just say, see you June 7th, my father. <laughs> Amazing. I want it. I want it so bad. I'm with you. Uh, but that, that Jake Paul card also has another very odd fight. But here for it. Which yes. one was it? Frank Mir versus Antonio Tava. Oh, that's on that card. That's on that card. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah. that that came out of fucking nowhere. When I saw that pop up, I was like, "Say what?" Yeah, Shit. yeah. Now, Antonio Tava. For, for those that don't know, Antonio Tava was one of those. I you mean, when I say was, your life priorities. If you don't know Antonio Tava, yeah, but a lot of people won't know who Antonio is, right? Or they will know him as Mason the Lion Dixon from Rocky <laughs> Balboa. That's what they'll know him as, right? Antonio Tava was an illustrious amateur as Southpaw, the magic man, largely avoided, right? He never really got his shot until he did get his shot. And then it was controversial. And then it wasn't controversial. And then it was still kind of a little bit shit. And then again, he kind of made it. Quick question. Yeah. Who post boxing that you can remember in recent memory, which yeah. boxer out of, out of the game? is the craziest because for me it's got to be jermaine taylor do you remember when he got arrested for having like machine guns and shit oh yeah um <laughs> i got to think the name last no the first time actually i went to mayweather's mm. he fought carl frotch his name is escaping me but he ended up doing like gay porn and stuff Ooh. and he was 
making a comeback and he's not like gay it's just like he needed cash and it was like this weird story and like a whole bunch of stuff had happened um that was quite up there too i was just like yeah that's 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 aggressive but yeah jermaine yeah for sure and he was getting proper like proper charges as well yeah yeah, yeah. um it's all gone very quiet with old jermaine yeah 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 bless him yeah but no but but back to antonio tava bless him uh he's 52 he's had some issues towards the end of his career, let's say. And I follow him on the gram. I'm sure you do too. He appears to be having a fairly decent life. Yep. As essentially a PT. He's not, he's not like training fighters. Like he puts videos up of him doing like pad work with mums. And <laughs> yep, yep. Like, fair play to him. He can't, I would be Yusuf astonished. Mac was the person Yusuf I was thinking of. Mac, yeah. yeah. Didn't Yusef Mack have like nine kids by nine different mums? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah I think that's Yusef why Mack he was the, the one that got like obliterated, didn't he, in Nottingham? <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Yusef. But yeah, he's going to be fighting Frank Mir. Yes. Now, Frank Mir is an absolute fucking mega G. One of his children is named Ronin. What? Respect. I just had to Google to make sure I wasn't slandering his name. And when you put gay porn, it actually sends the links. I'm like, I don't need that much information. Just wanted to I do. confirm Send that it. it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he's going to be fighting Frank Mir, Giza. Discuss. Mate, I am so, like, I love both of them. I really yeah. want to see it. Um, I really hope we can materialize that. We're in chats with Frank to come on the podcast mm -hmm. and that would be fucking sick. This perfect he platform. Is if only you're listening, 41. Frank, please come on. Only Isn't 41. That insane? Yeah. Yeah. He's like 18 months older than you. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. It's fine. It's all um, right. Listen, what, just uh, enjoy, just enjoy the, the remaining 15. You're all good. Yeah, that's it. If that, fucking yeah. hell. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Hey, but we got the best years, man. Like, looking back, I'm like, I'm okay. I'm glad I grew up when I grew up. We got Thank all the you. cool shit. Um, yeah, Mia and Tava, I fucking love them both. Glad that they're, because look, Tava, incredible boxer, long time out of the game. Mm -hmm. Mia trying his foot at the boxing. Um, not as long out the game, no. you know, let's see it. Let's have it. Mir got actually, Mir's one of those, because obviously Frank Mir is known as a, a grappler, but he's a long, yeah. he's a lifelong martial artist, right? And Grappling was his, his thing. hands by the time he was wrapping up his career. Jesus Christ. Right? He was a banger, but he got obsessed with boxing. Yeah. Which, which will take us back again to Mr. Askren. Yes, he looks like absolute dog shit. Yes, Jake Paul looks like he's a lot better. But there was also a little phase in Askren's career where he also got a little bit in love with the old striking and didn't look that bad until he fought a striker and then he had to revert back to wrestling, right? All I'm going to say again and again and again, that man is a multiple weight world champion multiple yep. organization world champion and if you are a training partner to tyrone woodley anthony pettis you're from the duke rufus camp god knows where he's training now and he's gonna be weirdly strong just yeah, weirdly strong yeah. weirdly conditioned there is simply nothing that you could possibly do to him that really gets gets his pulse up i just would be it's astonished a, a there's the one thing which I've told you, which is my only concern with this, is that all the other fighters are going to continue fighting. There's paychecks coming in. I don't know. Like, Askren doesn't have a commentary deal. I don't know that there's loads of cash coming in. My only concern, and this sounds terrible to vocalize, but it is a genuine concern, is that there's a nice little envelope to keep these little weird fights happening. Just, mm. uh, you know, make it nice. And it's not Askren fighting. It's... Askren kind of in the ring. That's my only concern because you I think what? if Askren wants to fight, I don't give a fuck what, how less his hands are. That's when you compare it to his wrestling and his wrestling is off the fucking charts. His hands are still good. He's a fighter and that's the thing. And that's and why a proper said, one. Exactly. He has been punched by savages. So 
if Jake can get him out of there with a punch, then I'll start maybe. Yeah, exactly. You'll get a tip of the hat. But until then. Until then, yeah. I am very interested to see Frank Mir, who's a southpaw, against Antonio Tava, who's also probably an absolute preternatural southpaw. I think that the I think that even at 52, I think there's a lot to learn because you wouldn't put it this way. If you found out like B hop was jumping in with Frank Mir, you'd be like, Oh, this ain't going to go great. Yeah. Do you know who scares me about this legend? Like Tony is very vocal, your man JT. And that scares me, man, because like he he doesn't, he doesn't need more head trauma um, for a start. (laughs) Not even a little bit, but in his defense, he has always sounded pretty similar to that. (laughs) And depending on how active he is, it seems to phase in and out of lucidness. I, I would, I I would love it. Yeah, I would love it if, if, (laughs) because I think he can do some damage. Yeah. I mean, in, in short rounds with, with, you know, a, a few rounds, like two minute rounds, he'd love that shit. Yeah, he's put it. I'm telling you, he's been he's been training fighters. He's still in the game. I mean, he's a big boy now. I'm not sure if he'd bother to shift a little bit of timber. Uh, man, I could almost see him and Shannon the Cannon going at it. Like, oh, don't let's not do that. Let's not do that because Shannon's in like shape shape. They need to <laughs> yeah. keep they need to keep Shannon away from that Legends League because that's a liberty. That's that's too much that Shannon's Shannon could quite comfortably still be a active. Like if they, if they said Shannon versus Andy Ruiz, you'd be like, Oh, Andy's going to have his hands full for a bit. <laughs> right. That's not someone that belongs in the legends league. You want a slur. You want someone that's had, uh, you, oh, I, you're not slurring. You're not coming in. Yeah. Listen, I want seven times seven. What is it? Okay. But, Wait, what is it? <laughs> okay, you can't come in. Do you know what the the um that's what I was gonna say. I think Tio and George Cambosos, because I knew I was thinking there on the undercard, I think it's Hollyfield Tyson three that they're gonna fight on that card. I don't want that. I think that's all but a done deal because they're talking about it in loads of media. Um and I saw that there's a chance that it would be on that. So, I mean, that makes me. Tio, I think that's fucking like amazing to fight yeah, on a Tyson yeah, yeah. card. You wouldn't be like on the undercard. You'd be like, I'm getting a shitload of cash and I'm fighting on Tyson's card. That's like, yeah. that's very different to fighting on a YouTuber's card. So that's what I, I mean. Actually, I don't see it as. A- yeah, I'm not sure. You know, because some of the stuff that Tio's talking about at the minute, that's that's like this is our time now. Yeah. Do you know what though? I and like I said to I you, agree. I agree. I'm with you. I, I'm, I, yeah. 100%. And like, seriously, fuck you, Bob, man. Like, yeah. for all those years, you've been making cash off these fighters. How many punches have you taken for that money? Oh. No, just pay them what they deserve and put some respect on their name. If you're not going to pay them, don't talk shit. Like, talking shit about Bud, say that Tio. Uh, um, nah, yeah, I'm I mean, having none of that. Yeah, I'm I'm with you like that. It's really simple. Get him the biggest fight you can or let him out his contract. Don't yeah. moan it's that he costs you. Your, your name is promoter. Yeah. Like promote, man. What the fuck? It's not shit talker. The, that's what the trolls and stuff are for. That your job is literally you the money you're getting is to promote these fucking fights and you're doing the opposite. Do you know who I mean the the model that they need to start looking at? from then but like in retrospect you realize how good of a job they did with it is like k2 and tom loffler with Mm -hmm. triple g because triple g number one didn't speak english at all number two when he did speak english he could speak a couple of words and it was kind of funny and he's fighting the whole kazakh borat thing right Yep. terrifying epic amateur The pros know who he is. You hear all of these, like they did a very good thing of releasing a lot of sparring stories and a lot of 
of all of that stuff. Well, that's about a, him. the what was it? Um, do they call it creating Triple G or whatever? The yeah. zone doco, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really how they're like, all we hear is these whispers, and mm -hmm. what's that? The and Russian, like, yeah, yeah, right. But he was still feared, and it seemed like they had a very good understanding this is going to be a lot harder than what it should be to get you to the top, but you will get to the top. You're just going to have to be patient. You're going to have to fight all of these bums. You're going to have to take all of these yeah. abusive, you know, reporters saying you ain't fought anyone. You ain't fought anyone. Yeah. And he was just like, I don't understand them anyway. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> right? Let me go back to Monaco and take some Japanese geezer's head off. All good. <laughs> right. So if you're dealing with the issues of trying to promote someone like a bud who you know, it shouldn't really be that hard to promote him because he is what he is. The issues that you're going to have is that he's avoided. Yeah. Right. So you can't get him the big fights, but he is still a world champion. So. Yeah, for sure. And like, okay, let's say Bud sells himself in the ring. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not a massive shit talker. Tio is. Tio yeah, talks. Tio, Tio mad loves shit. shit. He literally. loves it. Yeah. Like he he's a promotional dream. Yeah. And right now he's his moment. He just beat Loma. That Like... The fuck? Yeah. yeah, you could you could have quite comfortably paid up. You could have had him fight Devin. You could have quite comfortably said, George, wait, step aside for six months. Hey, eh? let's sort some bits out. You'll get yeah. your shot. Six months, right? It is free mil. Shut up, right? That's kind of what you assume that Eddie does with these situations. Like, let's just be. Let's let's do this. It's going to be a much bigger fight for you in a bit. Add this. Shush now. Natia Fima. Yeah. Let's clear you out and um, get rid of Devin, who's also under us. We can make that fight very easily because there's there's no downside to this. You're going to be the WBC champ, undisputed. No one's going to say anything. There's no one to say anything anymore. Bosh. No more. No more to do. Is there anything on, else, Shula. my brother? Come on. Stay stay in business and keep making this shit happen. I'm, I'm liking them. I'm rooting for Triller. Yeah, I, I quite like that vibe. Um, let's just, let's just hope that the commentary stays as it is. Cause I would imagine that that was a raging success. Also, if you've got a massive platform where you can pump ads out to people, it's got to be a seller in it. Yeah. For sure. I mean, that side of, I fucking don't know. Like I thought they were launching something. I, they're in place, right? Like Triller is an actual thing. I don't care. As long as they keep doing the boxing, they get these legends fights and they get some, you're making fights like uh, Tio and George. Fuck Fine. it, I'm there. All good, my brother. Let's wrap that up. Signing off. See you later, See you later guys. Mate. Bye. Bye, dude.